Mass protests across Egypt against what's seen as a power grab by President Mohamed Morsi have now turned deadly. A teenager was killed on Sunday and dozens injured during the clashes. Police fired tear gas at railing crowds with the opposition staging a sit-in at Tahrir Square. Cairo-based journalist Bell True has the details. A 15-year-old uh, member of the Freedom and Justice Party, which is the Muslim Brotherhood's political organization, died yesterday in a, in a Nile Delta uh, city of uh, Egypt uh, during clashes between pro and anti-Brotherhood uh, supporters. Um, in addition, we've seen very heavy-handed tactics from the police. We've seen excessive use of tear gas. Um, We've seen the use of birdshot bullets, uh, which have been given quite severe injuries to the face and the stomach. I've also had reports of live ammunition from the police, um, and this is really not showing any sign of stopping anytime soon. We've still got minor clashes happening, literally uh, just behind me on Tahrir Square. As the sit-in, which was called by oppositional forces, uh, continues, they said they will not leave until Morsi backs down from his uh, contentious constitutional declaration. Definitely, this is unprecedented in terms of um, a unification of the, the liberal leftist forces, which has been a criticism of the oppositional forces um, since uh, the Muslim Brotherhood took power in the parliament and also the presidency. We're seeing a coalition of forces in Tahrir in an in a, in a, uh, expression that we haven't seen since the 18 days. Um, in addition, we've seen some of the former presidential candidates like Amr Musa, Hamdin Sabahi, Mohammed al baradei coming together and actually uh, forming a coalition to save uh, Egypt, they say. Um, so we're really seeing quite a strong uh, movement from the opposition forces. Tomorrow, of course, we'll see even more uh, protests by the opposition forces who are planning um, million man marches in Tahrir. Um, so they're really unifying. Um, in addition, we had quite dramatic scenes in the journalist syndicate yesterday um, as the journalists were, were rising up against this uh, declaration, which they see to be oppressive. In addition, the judiciary as well um, have a, a staged a partial strike. So really, we're seeing a country rising up against this president, which could could see scenes that we saw last year during January and February. President Morsi um, has responded to these uh, reactions from the opposition forces by saying that uh, this decree will actually just be temporary um, and he's actually agreed to meet with the judiciary who are holding a partial strike. However, many see this to be not really enough of a measure, um, particularly as he's actually called protests tomorrow, his organization, the Muslim Brotherhood, and many people believe that this will actually result in further violence on the streets as anti and pro Muslim Brotherhood supporters meet. Really, people are asking for Morsi to back down it's his declaration, the constitutional declaration, which awards him um, sweeping powers, including powers over the judiciary, and makes all his declarations and decrees immune to appeal by anybody or by any means. Is really too strong uh, to simply just say that it's temporary. People want this to actually end, and they want him to back down um, and show signs of really being a democratic um, uh, president rather than an authoritarian dictator, as he's proving to be.